Americans should better understand China's particular circumstances. I think the U.S. should try. We ought to work with our, our friends, since I mean China too. SOE, or big gigantic project, is always uh, tackled uh, uh, by the state. And that really helps the, having this uh, big infrastructure project across the country, uh, Three Gorges Dams, or, 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 or Hong Kong, uh, Guangzhou, uh, you know, Macau, uh, you know, ocean bridges. So SOE play a unique role in China, but somehow uh, is not really inter understood well uh, outside China. You're right in terms of China's history. Uh, you have a different history, a different um, uh, geography you have to deal with, a much bigger population. But in the same token that I think we should better, or at least Americans should better understand China's particular circumstances, I think China needs to recognize our particular circumstances. <laughs> and our particular uh, circumstances are small and medium business is the backbone of the American economy. And uh, even our biggest corporations, for the most part, have little or no direct ownership by our government. And so when in our politics, the private sector or small business looks at China and they say, how can we compete with state financed corporations that have descent, uh, centralized or more centralized decision making in the process of trying to get into WTO. And I hope we, along with China in its application to the, the TPP, the new version of TPP, I hope maybe we can once again try to develop common, at least more common economic practices that will reduce the tension. So my basic feeling is the last few years where we didn't join AIIB, we didn't join TPP, or you set up RCEP, we're developing, we're growing apart. And it seems to me we have to get back in trying to grow a little more together. Using this uh, infrastructure as a connectivity is really great, and, uh, and you're right. You know, now U.S. is uh, wake up to that G7 summit. Uh, the, the U.S. Uh, and G7 country proposed the uh, B3W, a Build Back Better World. B3W and BI should be combined uh, in some fashion. This is my personal view. I think the U.S. and others should say the world needs infrastructure. In the end, this difference between a publicly oriented economy versus a more centralized economy, uh, I think it means that the U.S. will probably not play as big a role as China in building mm -hmm. infrastructure all over the world. But I think the U.S. should try. We ought to work with our, our friends. And I, I'm, I, in that sense, I mean China, too, if the opportunity. We're going to do more of this in more places in the world, because, frankly, the same way China benefits from this integration and connectivity, if the U.S. is going to achieve economies of scale, we need to benefit from closer connection to bigger markets. And so I think we're in going in the same connectivity direction. And I don't think globalization is dead. It's <laughs> it's a reality. So yeah, yeah, and no, I you. think the U.S. is getting into the game. BRI itself has, is evolving over time, that as China gets involved in more places around the world, more different kinds of infrastructure. So I think China's learning, and on balance, I think China's becoming a little more cautious. And as China's growth slows, which I think, generally speaking, over time it will, uh, China will and, and other needs for China domestically are big. So looking at the discussion in China, I think Chinese are themselves asking how much of our national talent and resource and technology should we devote to outside of China 
versus inside of China. So what I try to tell um, <coughs> Western observers, at least as my understanding, is China debates about all these issues. And you're feeling your way towards sounder policy and not becoming overly committed financially. And it's always been my understanding that one reason China wanted the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank was to have others besides China finance a lot of this infrastructure. And frankly, I thought that was a pretty good idea. And I think uh, the United States made, uh, I will say, strategic error under the Obama, Obama administration not to join this.